Years of research and the accumulated experiences of ProTaper users the world over have gone into the development of ProTaper Next. Here is a closer look at the unique offset rectangular cross section. Notice the mass of the file is offset from the center of rotation. This feature serves to limit the engagement between the file and dentin. Over the active portion of the file, there is limited contact at any given cross section as only two cutting points are engaged. As we pull away from the file, something extraordinary begins to reveal itself. Here you can see another aspect of the unique design of the ProTaper Next instruments. Next provides an asymmetrical rotary motion. Follow the red sine wave to see where the file is contacting the canal walls and, just as importantly, where the file is not contacting the canal walls. Take a look at the instrument's offset design in a simulated canal. Notice the available space for collecting and augering debris out of the canal. Compared to a fixed tapered file with a centered mass of rotation, the variably tapered and offset design of ProTaper Next minimizes the risk for taper lock and broken instruments. Perhaps the most important procedure in endodontics today is to find, negotiate, and secure canals to their full working length. Fortuitously, manually secured canals can be safely and efficiently enlarged with dedicated mechanical glide path files. The ProTaper Next family of instruments is comprised of five files. They are designed to work in sequence where each file progressively enlarges the canal towards the final desired shape. It ensures that we're making more contact with dentin as compared to utilizing a pecking or pumping motion. Let's take a quick look at one of the unique design features of the ProTaper Next instruments. Notice in this cross section only two points are contacting dentin at one time. The extra space allows for efficient augering of debris coronally while improving cutting efficiency. The finishing criteria for ProTaper Next starts after removing a ProTaper Next file. Specifically, after removing the X2 file, gauge the framing with a NITI 2502 hand file. If the 2502 is snug at length, you're done. Alternatively, like in this distal canal, if the 2502 is loose at length, then proceed to the X3 file. The ProTaper Next sequence is always the same regardless of the length, diameter, or curvature of any given canal. Following the use of the X1 and X2 files, here we can see the X3 in action. And again, in one or more passes, Using a brushing motion, we can allow this instrument to progressively float towards length. Again, when length is achieved, we would irrigate, recapitulate, and re-irrigate, and then gauge with a knife.